Oh god, here we go again with this YouTube bullshit. Anyway, what's up Wolfpack? It is I, the Animate Wolf, and um... Yeah, this is really stupid. I don't even know what to say at this point. I, 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 I would call this a rant, but I, I just don't have enough energy to be so angry right now. It's too late. I'm really tired, and this kind of just drove me up the wall, but not in the way that, you know, complete and utter madness, like, oh my god, what the fuck? It's more like, Jesus, like, they just don't stop. But anyway, uh, before I get into this, I should mention some things. Um, number one, I have a new mic, if you can't tell. Um, it sounds way better, I hope. Um, number two, there's going to be a video later, probably tomorrow, that's going to explain some things about the channel and how this channel is going to be from now on. It's not related to this. It's just related to things that happened earlier, such as, you know, three days of no uploading. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get into the topic right here. So, if you don't know what happened recently with YouTube, YouTube has enforced some policies on their um, overall advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Now, these guidelines have been there for a while. But the thing is, I think they're beginning to enforce them rather strictly and you know, putting more emphasis in them now than ever. So I'm just going to run through the YouTube policies and let you guys know exactly what is happening and why this doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, okay. So it says content that is considered not advertiser friendly includes, but is not limited to sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity and sexual humor. Now you see, I'm I'm mixed on this one because honestly I get the partial nudity thing, especially when you're appealing to all audiences. Um, in terms of adolescent, you know, children and stuff like that, you don't want them seeing something that they're you know gonna be scarred by or something that like, you know, will legitimately disturb them. Sexual humor, on the other hand, it's kind of everywhere. Like I kind of feel like that's a stupid policy because. Sexual humor is in everything. Sexual humor is even in kids' cartoons. So, what the fuck does that have to do with YouTube? They're just going to see it on TV anyway. But whatever, YouTube. You know, do whatever the fuck you want. You're screwing yourself over anyway. You've been screwing yourself over for a long time. Um, next one is violence, including display of serious injury and events related to violent extremism. Okay. Now, let me explain why this doesn't make any sense and why it does make sense that it's here, but no, it doesn't make any sense why this is being so enforced strictly. I understand the need to have a precautionary, you know, guideline towards violence on YouTube. Of course, nobody wants to go on YouTube and see somebody getting shot in the face or run over by a train because, you know, that's YouTube. I mean, that's a, that's Facebook. Some, you know, goal for you. You're supposed to see disturbing shit on Facebook. And I think that, um, you know, it's a good policy. Like I'll, that's the thing. Let me say that before, you know, anything, um, you know, gets misconstrued. I agree with these policies. I just don't agree with the strict enforcement of these policies on all YouTubers, because this doesn't make any sense in the context of, you know, what is on YouTube and what is popular on YouTube and them enforcing these things just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand the reasons as to why we need stronger enforcement of these when YouTube has been like this for years and it just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, let me continue. All right. So the violence thing, I understand. Now, here's the other thing I don't understand about it. Um, Apparently, from what I'm to understand, violence is you know it is a strong definition and what i mean is violence can literally mean any form of violence and you know for me which i'm a gaming channel and you know i'm not saying that there's graphic like you know gore and blood and stuff in the video so far but you know it just doesn't make any sense to me because that could apply to gaming because gaming has you know evolved and can now portray violence in a more realistic manner. So 
is this going to affect the gaming nation of YouTubers? Because I kind of feel like that's bullshit because gaming has always had violence in it. So why would you strictly enforce violence towards gaming? And even then with skits and uh, sketch channels who use violence to basically produce humor or entertainment for the viewer, this is dumb. Like it's something that is legitimately entertaining and I don't understand what's happening. So, yeah, let's just say the violence thing, I understand why it's there, but it's pretty stupid in terms of enforcing it on other people, and especially gaming and sketch YouTubers who use violence to ultimately make their video a little bit more entertaining. That's pretty dumb. Okay, now here's the big one. Here's the big one that I've heard everybody complaining about in terms of strict enforcement. Inappropriate language, including harassment, profanity, and vulgar language. Now, okay, harassment, I understand. Like, that's that's a big one. Like, I understand that at the end of the day, harassment is a big deal. You shouldn't, you know, harass somebody on YouTube. Obviously, that's going to be enforced very strictly. Profanity and vulgar language... This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen because let's be completely honest here. And I'm going to put my phone down for a second. Um, okay. Um, let's be completely honest here, guys. 90% and not even 90%. I want to say about maybe about, it's got to be between 70 to 90% of YouTubers swear. Some of them swear a lot. Some of them swear sometimes. Some of them, all they do is fucking swear. I swear in my videos a lot. So, I mean, you know, just this doesn't make any sense because swearing, I feel, is dependent on the YouTuber and the creator of the content itself. I don't feel like YouTube should be enforcing vulgar language because... That's kind of what YouTube is. You, if you don't, if you enforce, Jesus Christ, I'm, <laughs> if you enforce vulgar language and profanity in videos on YouTube, then you're kind of taking away um, the personality of YouTubers because some YouTubers' personalities flourish because of their ability to swear and you know basically portray themselves as themselves. So. And I feel like I fall under that category. I feel like I, when I, when I use swear words or I create jokes for, you know, the viewer, I feel like swearing adds to it and makes it a little bit more interesting. So I just don't understand that. That doesn't make any sense to me the the, the restriction of vulgar language when vulgar language, which once again, I'll mention because before, remember sexual humor, um, you know, Profanity and vulgar language are even in cartoons. They may be vague, but they're in cartoons. I mean, look at the old Looney Tunes cartoons. Those cartoons are considered for kids. And even then, they had jokes of where they would put like a donkey's a donkey's ass on top of the freaking head of the enemy of a Looney Tunes cartoon. That wouldn't signify what an asshole. Like, you know, like, it, this just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it, it, it's so primitive and it's kind of really 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 tiring to see that in 2016 we still haven't reached that point of realizing that we're maturing as adults and kids are maturing as they grow up at a younger age like like you have to understand the amount of content a kid can see now is of a vastly higher consumption rate than a kid who was my age in the 2000s. You know, it just it just doesn't make any sense to me. So, oh God, I'm going off on so many fucking tangents. This is so weird to talk about because I just don't understand the need for the censorship. It doesn't make any sense. But um, anyway, you know, inappro- inappropriate language, profanity and vulgar language, I don't understand. Harassment makes sense. Profanity and vulgar language is stupid. Okay, number four, promotion of drugs and regulated substances, including selling, use, and abuse of such items. Drugs are memes. 
um, YouTube does understand that, right? Like, it, it's not promotion. It's 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 a uh, flattery, as in it, you know, it's just respecting um, a social trend, as you may call it. Because um, I, I don't feel like drugs and regulated substances, when they're mentioned on YouTube, are literally for people to be like, "You should go smoke some weed. It's nice." Like, no, I mean, like. I think people use them. It's like I say, it's kind of like the way YouTubers use swears. They're a way to make your dialogue more interesting. So when you talk about drugs, kids are like, <laughs> drugs. And they go on Facebook. Meanwhile, Jesus Christ. All right. So a YouTuber will talk about drugs on YouTube and a kid will be like, haha, that was funny. He said that he smokes weed. Haha. <laughs> like, yeah, but that's not him promoting drugs. I don't think anything on the internet. Unless it is literally created for the purpose of selling drugs. Sells drugs. I think that, honestly, in terms of social networking, drugs are a meme. They literally are just a meme. A constantly, you know, overused yet hilarious meme that has been applied to so many different things. I mean, look at the MLG community. They love weed and fucking blazing it. Um, 420 blaze it. So, you know... <laughs> Cause I love to 420 blaze it, <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, just like, I think drugs, you know, I, of course I support the, like, here's, like I said before, I support these rules because in the, in the case of YouTube's YouTube safety, these are good rules. It's just the fact of the strict enforcement, um, that just doesn't make any sense and there's no reason for it. Um, so yeah, that makes sense. But in terms of enforcing it on other YouTubers, it's literally just a meme YouTube. Please stop. Um, okay. Now I'm on the last one. Um, controversial or sensitive subjects and events on controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters, and tragedies, even if graphic imagery is not shown. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I kinda don't understand one. But um let me see, let me read through it again. Controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war. Okay, so it basically means that in terms of your video, um um your video will not be advertised if you're talking about a sensitive or controversial subject. In regards to like race or like a natural disaster in history or tragedies or political stuff. Like if I was supposed to post a video like fuck Donald Trump, they would take they would not monetize my video. Um that's kind of dumb because our First Amendment right gives us freedom of speech and our First Amendment right says we can say whatever the fuck we want. If I want to say fuck Donald Trump, I can say fuck Donald Trump. Like like come on now. Alright, so this is the stupidest one to me. Because if there's one thing that YouTube is best at, it's con it's conveying an objective through subjective videos. And what I mean is that a lot of people, and I'm putting down my phone again, <laughs> a lot of people like to talk about certain subjects because they want people to know their opinion. Their objective is for them to convey their opinion on said subject. If my subject is the polit is uh the presidential election and I say, which I'll say in real life right now, I don't give a shit, that and I'm not monetized, so I know this doesn't apply to me, but still I want to support my other YouTubers. I don't care. So if you want to complain, I don't give a shit. I'm supporting my other YouTubers who are monetized users because this is bullshit and I support them in every single, you know, wail out and riot they, you know, produce on their channels because of this. So, yeah. But anyway, continue what I was saying. If I was to talk about the presidential election and I say, like I do say in real life, that I support neither candidate because I think they're both fucking stupid. Um... You know, with Trump being a liar and I mean, with Hillary being a liar and Trump being a total dumbass, you can't do you can't not monetize my video because I'm conveying an opinion. I'm using my First Amendment right. That's pretty stupid, YouTube. But um, just I don't know, like YouTube. 
and and that's really about it. And you know, that's really about it. That those are the guidelines that they've enforced on, you know, the advertisement friendly videos guidelines. You know, advertisement friendly friend advertisement friendly content guidelines. Now, at the bottom of the videos, if any of the above describes any portion of the video, then the video may not be approved for monetization. If monetization is approved, your video may not be eligible for all available ad formats. YouTube reserves the right to not monetize the video, as well as suspend monetization features on channels that repeatedly submit videos violating our policies. By the way, I know that monetization was so retarded when it came to my mouth. I was like, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it um also i believe another funny thing is that they're enforcing it through um you know your thumbnails and your metadata now that's pretty stupid because you know there are a lot of youtubers who basically I don't want to, you know, brag or anything. I don't want to make fun of anybody because sometimes thumbnails are fucking hilarious. But most of them make clickbait thumbnails. Now, clickbait thumbnails are thumbnails that aren't really, you know, relevant to the context of the video that you're going to watch as soon as you click it. But the, there may be suggestive or mature content in the thumbnail. And, you know... Most of the time it's blurred and most of the time they don't show everything. People have the common decency to not violate, you know, another viewer's, you know, viewing pleasure who's looking for a new video and they don't want to disturb them. They want to bring them in. They want to see if they want to watch this video. So they create a thumbnail that allows them to, you know, be like, hmm, this looks interesting. Let me click it. That's dumb. That is a dumb policy to do that through thumbnail because the thumbnail honestly as vulgar as it can get has nothing to do with the actual video and i think that most youtubers do know that that their thumbnails no matter how vulgar or crazy they get have nothing to do with their video they just make it so that you know what you're about to get into and it gives you an overall idea of how what this channel is how it operates what it what its subjects are based upon and who is this individual you're going to meet on this channel um yeah that's just dumb but anyway i'm pretty much done but just to give an overall idea of what i'm talking about you know here's my thing youtube you know a lot of people may say youtube's fucking up but to me that's bullshit because youtube has been fucking up youtube's been fucking up for a good couple of years now with its policies and overall its actions to to try and make youtube what they think is making it better which you know you know earlier before this there was the fair use thing and then before this there was the copyright thing where they basically were having automated copyright strikes sent out and that fucked with a lot of youtube channels yet it like just like, this isn't, to me, like, I understand that some people are like, oh, this is fucked up. But this isn't new. YouTube has always been like this. Th this isn't new. And honestly, if you think it's going away anytime soon, you're sorely mistaken. Honestly, it's, it, I, I think it only can get worse from here. Because here's the thing. YouTube is trying to improve itself. But in improving itself... YouTube as a company does not know how to improve itself while also keeping the creators satisfied with these changes because the changes that they're implying do not correlate with the creative with the creators um overall idea of what YouTube can do for them. YouTube is a creative platform. It is supposed to be a platform for people to express themselves, create content and hopefully entertain the viewers of the channel. That is how YouTube gets its revenue. And honestly, every single attempt, rather it be the copyright thing, or the fair use policies, or the censorship policies now, it, it, it all hinders YouTube from making money. So honestly, this is not gonna last long. Of course we know this is not gonna last long. It never lasts long. They're most likely gonna 
you know, work on it and change it. And it's going to be gone. And probably like next by next week, I guarantee you this is going to be old news. They're going to take this censorship bullshit off because creators are speaking out against them because their creative, you know, policies are just stupid. But, um, you know, honestly, I know a lot of people are probably going, you know, you just started, but still I can talk about it because I mean, I did try and do YouTube a long time ago. I had an old channel. I actually have an old channel called Sacrilege Gamers with me and my friend Dan Dylan. And we didn't really do anything, you know, during that whole fair use thing at all. We kind of just uploaded videos because we fucking wanted to and nobody bothered us. So I have experience with the YouTube policies. You know, I abide by them. And, you know, this this hinders me because, you know, I know that people probably think like, oh, I don't know why you're saying that. You know, that's kind of fucked up that you say that. But honestly, I do want to get to the point where I can monetize my video. I want to make this channel something more like anybody would if they start to make YouTube videos. So, you know, to hear that the censorship is hindering my channel, because honestly, I consider my channel a mature channel. I don't consider my channel specifically for the kid demographic. I think it's more of a teenage to young adult channel where you can find, you know, loads of awesome gameplay, profanity, and overall hilarity on a channel that, you know, shares or may not share the same opinions you have about certain video games that I play. You know, that's the kind of thing I want it to be. So looking at these censorship policies, it just made me scared because I was like, oh, damn it, I just started... And, you know, I don't want any copyright strikes. I don't want any, you know, anything like that. And it kind of seems like if they're um, reinstilling their censorship policies or enforcing them strictly, then they're going to go back to try and fix the copyright policies. And I don't want that to happen to my channel. So, you know, it just it, 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 it just gave me a heads up just to know that, you know, you know, this this may be the future of YouTube. Like this may be what I have to work towards, you know, abiding and it kind of sucks because I really want this channel to be what I want it to be. And I think that's the biggest issue. YouTube doesn't realize that in censoring your channels and, you know, your creator's ability to create, which is basically what they're doing. They're hindering their creators from creating the content that they want to create, thus losing revenue because these creators cannot portray their overall popular personalities because these new policies hinder them from doing so so yeah sorry youtube dumb move anyway i am the adamant wolf um you can like comment subscribe i have a facebook and a twitter now which i'm gonna link in the next video um i'm not sure it'll probably go up tomorrow hopefully if i'm not too lazy i'm sorry i work a lot <laughs> i work a lot but anyway um i'm the adamant wolf uh, please comment down below what you think of this situ situation. I would love to see your, you know, points of argument. And uh, let's just hope this blows over. Let's just hope. All right. I'm the Adam Wolf, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.